And thank you for joining us. I'm Nick Vinzant. It's become a story too big to ignore. And even though it's been widely discredited as a hoax and a conspiracy, rumors of a child sex camp here in Tucson are now getting international attention. News 4 Tucson Sam Salzuedo looks into the latest claims. It's new at 10. There are hundreds of YouTube videos claiming there is a child sex dungeon. The fact checking website Snopes has even written about it, calling the claim false. Michael Lewis Arthur Meyer leads the group Veterans on Patrol. He's not a veteran and doesn't claim to be. He has thousands of very loyal followers. He went to the anti-government standoffs at Bundy Ranch in the Oregon Wildlife Refuge. He said to de-escalate the situations. I'll give you a quick walk through the camp. Lewis works out of what looks like a military camp near Santa Rita Park on private property. But this is a rape tree. He claims to have found what he calls a child rape den. This is where little children are fastened to these trees. Tucson police investigated and say it's just a homeless camp. John McLean works with Veterans on Patrol. He's not sure about all of Lewis's claims, but he has seen a lot of homeless camps. All of it in regards to it being um, just another run of the mill homeless camp. I mean, I don't, I, if there's anything I don't buy, I don't buy that. It's easy to see how someone could think their restraints, but in the same frame, you can see straps on another tree holding up a pole, keeping gear off the ground, possibly to keep away from unwanted wildlife. Lewis Arthur's supporters don't believe it. I think the little space in the bunker was used to keep children quiet. This is a small child's skull. Later in the week, they claimed to find the remains of a child. But this was miles away from the supposed sex camp, and the Pima County Medical Examiner says it's an adult. This is also a corridor where border crossers often die in the desert. The claims are catching fire online. City Council Member Paul Cunningham addressed the issue in his weekly newsletter, writing, In the days since this has hit the media, the incident has morphed on national websites into an alleged conspiracy that involves groups as diverse as Mexican corporation Cemex, controversial company NXIVM, the Clinton Foundation, and even the Libyan provisional government. I wish I was making this up. If you want to look it up on the internet, you can, but life is really too short for you to waste your time. It's sad to see it go in this direction. You know, kind of seeing what that fringe media that exists that um, and, the, and how they write their stories. He also wrote another thing that disappoints me are the attacks on our police and our mayor. It amazes me how many people in our community that support the police are at the same time alleging they would be involved in a cover up of something like this. As for the mayor, there are a number of bizarre allegations out there that invoke his religion and his last name. I certainly don't think that there's any foul play in regards to the Tucson police. Lewis has now launched what he calls Operation Backyard Brawl to fight the sex trafficking in the desert. I wanted to take my question straight to Lewis Arthur. When I called, he hung up on me. Then he sent a text message saying he would give me a statement if I volunteered with his group for one week. Sam Salzwedel, News 4 Tucson.